Hey, how's it going now? Welcome back to the channel. Today I thought let's make a different video for a change. And I've been seeing these very funny relatable memes being passed around on Instagram where they say this artist and then they put the relatable thing that the artist does. And I thought let's take a look at some of them, shall we? But before then, what's going on on TikTok? <laughs> funny how I literally am every last one of them. I'm the artist with art block. Well, occasionally I am the artist with a shit ton of unfinished artwork. And I don't know why for some reason whips just feel better than finished artworks, especially when you start drawing an image and you have a certain direction you want to take that image in, but you just get lost somehow, somewhere, kind of forgot what you're doing and end up drawing something else and now you're just, will you never end up going back to finish that image. And at this point, I really think it's a bad habit that a lot of artists are guilty of. I'm sure you are guilty of doing it as well. And I think you should actually stop doing it. I wish I could use my own advice. I actually did it myself. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I don't think I have experienced this at all. I have seen some artists online who kind of experienced this where people see them and then they see their work and they're like, mm, you don't look like the person who did this artwork. I guess it's just the stereotype when they see the person that they feel like, oh, this art should be made by this particular person especially when people see an image and in their head they have a vision of what they think the artist will look like and then they see someone and they're like oh my god you probably are not supposed to be doing that This really depends on the kind of style that I'm going for. Sometimes I actually just enjoy just filling in, drawing and like going over all the elements that I'm trying to fill. If I want the brush strokes to show in the drawing or in the painting or whatever, then I would carefully go in and spend all the time just drawing all the marks one by one. But if I'm just coming in to use the lasso tool and I know I'm just going to do a lot of shading and airbrush work, the cowboy is me i don't even waste any time i just go ahead and just use the lasso tool and select all the elements and paint them in or just fill them in because filling in spaces with the brush or just drawing over spaces with the brush takes a lot of time especially if you have a ginormous image you're working with so instead of spending that much time using the brush when I don't even think I want to paint, why don't I just use the lasso tool and save myself a lot of time? And then the one that uses the eraser, bruh, just stop doing that. It's not helping you at all. I think I am the fan artist. I have a ton of unfinished work. I mean, we just talked about that in the beginning of this video. Please don't make it extremely obvious. But I actually do enjoy just drawing fan art of things that I like or OCs or whatever. Besides, for anyone trying to grow an online social presence or just trying to grow an Instagram or whatever, just drawing fan art is what will help you 
get your work seen by a ton of people. So draw more finance, I guess. So here's a stereotype I'm trying to break. Whenever you see Asian text, a lot of people will be like, oh, it means like, that must be like, that must be like a Chinese proverb. It's actually Japanese. So I did this up here. It's Japanese. It reads, this is a meaningless phrase. <laughs> I think the thing is, in Japanese, just looks cool to look at. I mean, it looks cool in drawings. When you have a character and you just have some tiny Japanese around it, it just makes you look sick. It makes you look tech for some reason. And then when you use Japanese writing on t-shirt designs, whew, bomb. Like just have a character and just have some Japanese, just write whatever in Japanese and just put that on a t-shirt. It just looks sick instantly. It's just too cool. Japanese is just too cool. Maybe one day I'll try to learn it and then I'll just start speaking Japanese on my channel and then I'll make a bunch of hoodies with pretty penguins written in Japanese. Actually, that might make sense. Hmm. happen especially when you're just drawing up the corner and you're not talking to people and then you're just focused bending your head down drawing someone will just hover above your head and ask you what you're drawing or who taught you how to draw like please i'm drawing for a reason maybe i don't want to talk to any of you or maybe i just want to be left alone or actually maybe i don't know how to talk to people and drawing is my escape from having to talk to people and living in my own head is my own reality right now Why does this TikTok have to call me out so hard? I, I, I get it. I'm the minimalist and aesthetic artist. Maybe somewhere down the line, I might become the Picasso artist and learn how to paint backgrounds properly. Yes, it's never too late to learn anything. Most people think that artists have sketchbooks filled with beautiful drawings. Not me. <laughs> Mine is a sad little book filled with garbage. Let's check it out. I mean, this looks like I was trying to draw while getting electrocuted. This just looks like I'm attacking my sketchbook. And here we have absolutely nothing. What? What? What are you? Oh look, an actual drawing. Finally. My sketchbook is just filled with unfinished drawings and quick sketches of poses and just anatomy drawings and whatnot because that's where I feel like I want to improve so much and so I just keep doing it without trying to make it look fancy or pretty or whatever. I just want to get the idea out and that's something that everyone should be doing especially if you're struggling to nail your anatomy or you're struggling to nail how you draw your proportions or your figures. You should carry a sketchbook around and just draw people you see and just sketch them quickly and try to nail the pose or the essence of the pose that they're making and just think about doing gestures. That's literally how you get better at drawing figures and drawing gestures. People who are expecting your sketchbook to look neat and tidy and have all this fancy beautiful art clearly don't know what a sketchbook is okay i think that's enough of tiktok now let's go to instagram and take a look at some of these relatable this artist memes and i don't know why but i really enjoy looking at these it's, it's just so much fun to look at and most of the times they're just so funny and actually relatable this artist loves drawing hands hmm point me to the direction of this artist we we need to exchange words. Out of every artist that I know, most people just hate drawing hands and feet or just have a problem drawing hands and feet. So if there's any parts of the body artists can just draw off head, hands and feet will probably be the last one of them. Most times I just need to use reference so I can see what I'm doing anytime I have to draw hands and feet. This artist is still learning all body types. This artist turns into a shrimp if they work too long. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Stop calling me out like that. This artist makes playlists for fictional characters. Hmm, I don't think I've done that before. Uh-uh. 
Now that that's not me. I haven't made any playlists for any of the characters I draw. I actually make playlists to listen to while I draw, but not for the characters. This artist has to dance when they do chores. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This artist tries to avoid doing chores by any means necessary. This artist likes to sing, even if they suck. Definitely not me. I guess the artist who can sing will probably have to be maybe uh, Sam does art. He looks like someone who can sing and D'Angelo Wallace, I guess. They both look like people who can't sing and play instruments. I think D'Angelo plays the piano, right? They probably can't sing. And Ethan, Ethan Becker, I'm sure he knows how to sing because I've seen him playing bass on the piano, right? I think I've seen some of his Ethan can't sing. I've seen him singing on his story. This artist likes to share their music with their friends. Too bad the only friends I have are Fortnite and Discord. Link in the description to join my Discord server. Hashtag ad. This artist has cool stories for their OCs, but no way to talk about them. <laughs> I mean, I haven't even finalized the designs of my OCs right now, so there's that. This artist has been very productive lately. Why are all these just calling me out? This is so hard to relate to because I am so not that artist. The artist is the new hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> I can relate to this because anytime I'm drawing or just using the computer, I hunch a lot. And as you guys can see, I am hunching right now. <sighs> I guess all I need now is to learn how to speak French so I can apply to play as the Hunchback of Notre Dame whenever that happens. This artist loves their followers. Aww. That is me. That is me. I love all of you guys watching my videos and every single person in my Discord server. I love you guys the most, especially the mods. I love the mods so much. Like those guys control the server and they put in so much work literally every day since i created that server the the mods are the mods are amazing let's 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 just give a round of applause to all the mods in my discord server you guys should just show them love in the comments so uh, that's it for today's video i guess uh if you enjoyed the video please leave it a like subscribe to my channel if you're new here and share this video with an artist that you know will relate to these and I guess I will see all you pretty penguins in the next video. Peace.